Hello. So today, actually, hey guys. What is up? It's Maya, and welcome to my crib. Today, I'm gonna be doing something very basic, but I'm gonna put a twist on it because I'm extra. Actually though, today I thought it would be fun to do a what? In my bag. Only I go to Berkeley, I go to music school. So maybe my stuff is a little bit different in college. So let's do it, what is in my bag? I have a Fiora Van Konken, the 15 inch laptop version. So it's very big. And oh, what's this? This is on the outside. This is my little, hello, focus, thank you. This is my little Berkeley staff tag. Um, Cause I work at Berkeley. I work at the Media Lab. I am a peer trainer and a Media Lab monitor. So basically I'm a tutor for kids in my school, which is cool. Yeah, so that's in there. I'm gonna put that back. So we have the little like pocket that's over here. And in there I have two things. So I have my laptop, which obviously a lot of college kids just carry their laptop everywhere. But I have that, and if you can tell, yellow is a good color. I also have a folder, and in here is all of my music, as you can see. Um, there's my music theory final practice test, so that's fun. So I keep that in the back pocket, then we open it up. So in here there's a lot of stuff, um, but we're going to go through it. So obviously. At music school, you have to have a freaking, you have to have manuscript paper. So, hello. So I use my manuscript paper all the time. I always have one of these on me because you never know when you're going to need it to write down some bougie dictations. <laughs> but yeah, so I have this. Um, and I like this one because it's like bigger. So you can make everything bigger. Like the, the staves are bigger, which is cool. And also in here, I have just a regular old notebook. This is one of my favorites though. So this one is a MD paper one. This is a Japanese one and it's all sleek and white as you can see. And it opens so flat, it lays so flat, which is really nice. It also has blank pages with like a little title spot up there, which I love. And this I just used to write down like random things like that. And um, I write down my homework or like if I'm bored in class, I just like write random stuff in it because that's me. I also have my laptop charger because we use our laptops a lot at Berkeley for literally everything except for like ear training but also yes we do for ear training so never mind. Um, and then in here I also have, oh what? So I have to bring my XLR cable as well as my mic. So this is a Shure I think 58. Yeah, this is a short SM58. This is the mic I use for my ensemble. And of course, you gotta have your yellow XLR so you can plug it into the PA in the ensemble rooms. So whenever we have rehearsal for um, our any singing class or live music class, I bring this there. So. Then I have my little pouch. So what is in here? Good question. Um, I have tons of things, obviously I make videos, but I also make music, obviously, because I'm a musician. So on here, this is my external drive. I actually have two of these in here. I have this one and this one. This one has all of my Ableton and Logic projects and my plugins and my samples, and this one has all of my videos. So these are like really important to have on me because if I want to access like all of my files and plugins and samples, I can't do it without this, so, and if I want to edit videos in my breaks between classes, I have to have this. So these better be in there, um, and so that's why I have them. Super important because there's so much stuff at Berkeley that you have to have on your computer that it just does not fit, even in the like 320 gigabytes of computer storage. So that's basically what's in there, then I have like all the wires that plug them into my computer. Um, also, you gotta have at Berkeley, you gotta have one of these babies. This is a, an adapter, this is a hub. So I can put a USB, I can put an SD card, and I can put a USB C and an HDMI. 
So if I want to use external monitors in the lab or if I want to put things into my Mac computer, because everyone at Berkeley has Macs. So if you have a new Mac, you have to have a Mac. And you want to use the USB-C, the Mac charger for the new Mac. You gotta have an adapter, so that's really important. So yeah, everyone has those. So also in here, in this little one, this is the little one, I have some USBs and a very important thing, which is my eye lock. So at Berkeley, everyone gets an eye lock like this. Hello. It's not gonna like it. But yeah, everyone gets this little USB, and basically this is how you run Pro Tools and save your Pro Tools projects. So without this, you cannot run Pro Tools, which means you can't record anything. So you need that too. For your MTech class, in any class that uses Pro Tools, or just your studio session, you gotta have an iLock. I mean, actually the studio computers, if you're running it through there, has an iLock. But if you're running it through your laptop, you gotta have that, so. Also in here, I have my wallet, which has my ID. And last thing I have is my pencil pouch. I love her so much. I ordered this from somewhere. In here, I have all my pens. I have mild liners, which I love. I have my Muji eraser, which I also love. Muji pens. This one's my favorite, it's erasable. I have this pencil, which I got from some expensive place, and it's so nice. Also have, like, lipstick. Don't know why that's in there. And, yeah. Oh! Gotta have a Sharpie for those studio sessions. Because if you're writing the tape, when it's like, this channel is my Vox, and this channel is my guitar DI, or whatever. And yeah, I have some random sticky notes also in there. Don't judge me. Yeah, so that is what's in my Berkeley backpack at Berkeley. I hope you guys like this short little video, but I was running out of video ideas. But yeah, I think it's cool to see like what you need at music school versus what you need at like engineering school, which is basically just paper. So we need freaking drives and XLR cables and microphones in our bag. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my EP. And I have a new single coming out soon, which is very exciting. So check out my website. It is linked in the description. And I will see you all guys another time.